guys, it's Cas55, and you are staying alive with Cas55. Um, Alright, let's take a look at the map. I am over here at the entrance to a, a, another valley, not too far from where, I, where I'm at, um, that I saw a large spider, and I didn't have anything with me to fight it because I was just kind of collecting resources, and I hadn't brought any extra weaponry with me. But we're going to see if we can get to it. To get to it, though, you've got to go through this little basin. This bowl of spiders. Right, that one's gone. Here comes one. Come on, baby. Hit it. There we go. Wasn't even hit it. It must have been the angle. Couldn't hit it. swings and I'm not hitting it. There we go. Wow. Okay. Got all these dead spiders down here. Keep going. There's another spider up here. I don't care. There's a bazillion pounds of gossamer along this wall over here. I mean, there is enough to make enough silk to go ahead and craft every wedding dress this June. I mean, there's just silk everywhere over there in that place. <laughs> what I was harvesting before when I came. See, look at all this. Look at all this gossamer hanging. It just goes on and on and on all the way around. But this, I came up this little incline and there she be. Okay, how can I get to where Big mama spider there. <laughs> up, up, up. Don't let him grab you. There we go. Look at that mama. That is one big spider. are not even touching it. They are not. Well, this is not good. Okay. So I, by myself, cannot sit down there and take this thing on. Let's try it. Abdomen. Nope. 
I thought maybe it was just because it was the hard part. Wow. Okay, so I need to get the hell out of here. Because I cannot take this big fatty, badass daddy spider on if my arrows aren't even going to touch it. It keeps sinking into the... Look at the size of that thing. Okay. Ready? Like a line out of Monty Python. Run away! Run away! <laughs> I know that's not exactly the Conan philosophy. You know, it's not crushing your enemy under your feet. But in this case, I would simply be spider food. Okay. I will get back with you guys when I have something more interesting to show, and, it, and also when it's daylight. Hang in there. Okay, guys, hey, let's take a look at the map. I came into this area from a different route. I discovered the lower staging area here. And I'm trying to follow the river up to avoid coming in through this massive spider valley. I'm sure I'm still going to hit a bazillion spiders. But I'm trying to get up here to at least get inside that cave so I can see what it is that I need to take on. I don't know if I can even make an attempt at it at this point. But we're going to see. I'm trying to avoid combat. Because I don't want to do any damage to my armor. Um, or weapons. More than I have to. And here come the spiders. These things let out that little purple cloud. I wonder if that's like a a burst if that's like a burst of uh, corruption or if that's like a, a communication thing to the other spiders come help don't know the answer to that all right we're starting to see spider webs let's look at the map make sure I'm yeah I'm heading the right way Here they come. I have to take them out as I go. Oh, shit! <laughs> Poisoned. Okay, not anymore, I'm not. These guys had something. Ah, no, nothing. Nothing. Split. Let's get rid of that weight. Map, which way do I need to go? So I actually kind of need to go more that way, I think. Yeah, I do. Shield up to protect me. Swinging right through it. Oh, and the other spider was coming to help it. Okay. <clears throat> well, kind of singing through the forest as. Ooh. I 
need to start doing some repairs. Most definitely need to start doing some repairs. This is why I was trying to avoid combat, because I knew I'd have to be doing repairs. a little bit more regular leather with me, I think. Oh well, we'll see how we do. Start crafting up some more silk. combat if I can. I'll try to make it up to... because I already took that on once. That's the upper staging area. swinging right through it. Thank you. That's just annoying. Alright. That's the way I need to go. Another one of those big bug dudes here somewhere. Over there. <clears throat> All right, so I'm back at this thing that gives me corruption. And we got bugs everywhere. Big bugs. I've authenticated. So what does that mean? Hmm, don't know. Okay. Let's push on. So I've authenticated this obelisk. I'm not sure what good that does me, but it does me something. Thank 
you. Okay, we got big bugs coming up. Big bugs. Big bugs and spiders. Come on, big buggy. over here, I know I do. Ah, uh, and there it is. guy on if I don't have to. Wow. Bud. Okay. guys. I'm going to do one with an axe. Oh, see, that's what I was looking for. Okay, get rid of this excess crap. I'm hovering here on the weight limit as it is. Okay. So we are there, wherever there is. Got a spider up here still to get by. Oh, a couple of spiders. So we have discovered the passage. <laughs> passage to what? I have no idea. Okay. 
Okay. Lots of spider webs. Can I get on? for here is once I get down I need a place that I can fight from Look at all the spiders down there. There are a lot of them as I get closer. guys are just sitting around, they're not doing anything. They must be wait, waiting for somebody.
There it is. Okay. I am doing some damage. Very little. I'm out of stamina, out of stamina, out of stamina. Come on.
much damage as I can do here. I'm going to put you guys on hold for a little bit. Hang on. So, okay. I have gone through basically 500 arrows and have barely gotten halfway on this thing. not doing anything to it. I seem to have caught it in a glitch. I'm going to take it. came up from behind it, and it's like it can't move. That's okay, because in a regular one-on-one -on -one fight with this thing, I would be so outgunned. I am doing some slow damage to it. I could unglitch it. As soon as I do, I'm dead. This thing takes a lot of damage points. If it was chasing me around, I would have been dead a long time ago. It would be more fun if it was chasing me around, but like I say, probably I'd just be respawning back at my base right now. So like I say, I don't know if this is a game glitch that I came up from behind it. I'm just too afraid to find out at this point. This thing takes so much damage. 500 arrows. You've seen how many hits I've done with that steel longsword.
Alright, so we're going to use the pickaxe. Hopefully that's the right choice. It is the right choice. Ah. Uh, wow. Okay. So the whole purpose of this trip was this. Broken Scourgestone piece. And we got it. Uh, not by talent, but by luck in this case. Since there was some type of a glitch, this creature wasn't fighting back. Uh, I will take it, though, because I don't think I could ever in a single-player game have defeated it. Let's load up on water. So I need to get out of the passage here. consider this shelter, I would hope so. I'm like way underground. Since these guys are still, this is all part of the same glitch. Um, don't know why it glitched out. But that's the creature you have to fight. And you can see, wow, all this respawned. See, while I was fighting that this would have all respawned, I would have had to have fought all these spiders to get back out. Okay, I need to do some repair here. Yeah, no, I would have never in a single-player game been able to do that, that fight. This would have been a challenge without the glitch that I probably... I mean, I would have had to have gotten to a much higher level, had much, much better weaponry and armor than I have at this point in the game. Okay, so let's see. How do I get out of here now? Make the climb. Make the climb. You can do it. There we go. Regenerate. Make the climb. You may not make the climb. Get over here where you have a place to rest. Okay. Sweet. 
at least I'm going to get out of here. So I might have a chance, even if I die in the other area, I would have a chance of recovering my body and recovering the broken stone, the broken scourge stone piece. Because if I die in this cave, there's no way I'm ever recovering it. So here it is. It's daytime. Shield up. attention than I have to here. Oh, you. Control. Yes, I see you. Okay. don't want to fight my way out of here if I don't have to. I just want to get back with the peace. And the further I can make it out of here... Shoot. You're just going to get right in my way, aren't you, Mr. Buggy? Say, the further I get out of here, the more likely I am to recover this piece if I die in here. Oh shoot. be in here in the dark. So it's time to just battle my way out of this. These guys I gotta take care of quick. Shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Thank you.
Wow, where am I? Okay, so I made a, a dash out of there. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to get back to my base and we'll see if we can put this stone together. Hang in there, guys. I will be back shortly. Well, okay, I'm back. If we take a look at the inventory, I have all three pieces of the scourge stone here with me. Um, we are going to see if we can get this thing done, this mission. So I need my... Now I just need to plow my way through all the stuff that's in my way here. Turtles, scorpions, scourge beasts, and all the other stuff. One down. Come on, guys. Dang it. You're too slow, girl. There we go. <clears throat> Much better. Alright, so what do we got here? I don't really want to fight scorpions if I don't have to. I just want to get up there and get this stone put together. Here we go. Oh, there's two of them. I don't want to take them both on at the same time. Let's wait till one of them turns. Scorpions out of my way. Okay. Like I say I don't want to take on a whole bunch of these sand beasts at one time. God, these guys keep coming together. I don't want you coming together. I want you one at a time. That worked out okay. Ah, a bunch of worthless junk. I don't need that. Get the sword back out. Because you know there's more. gonna get me. I wasn't moving quick enough. Okay, let's get up here and let's get this sand beast. I'm 
seeing palm trees up there. Get in here and get this done. Oh, you bastard. You're just going to come right at me, aren't you? This guy doesn't turn into some type of super villain because I brought him the stones that he was looking for and gave him some type of weird power. That would really bite. Because I'm in no shape to take on a super villain. I have no arrows, pretty much. Uh, this place would be a toe to toe type combat. But let's see what happens. Eventually, a man happened along and said, You mad fool, what are you doing in this sandstorm? The mad fool replied, Ahem. Your turn to talk, fool! So that was uh, relatively easy, so okay. I have a sand part of the desert. What do I do with that? I'm sure that will be revealed to me at some future date. What I do with this thing that I just now have. But as you can see, I have it. Heart of the sand, scourge stone. A complete scourge stone. I'm wondering if I have to bring this to the uh, Seth, High Priest guy. Wow, it didn't give me any points at all for completing that. It really didn't give me any recognition at all for completing that task. Hmm. Okay. Well, obviously, I will figure out down the road what I'm supposed to do with this. Oh, my sand beast left. Wow. Everybody left. Couple of scorpions hanging around. Oh, there's a sand beast.
interesting though that I could see this valley from over here. I gotta go figure out where this goes. Panther here and a trail of some type. Here we go. More Black Panthers over there. kind of wanted to take me on, though. Yeah, he's got in he's interested in me. Alright. So I'm going to call this an episode, guys. Um, so what did we learn here? Well, we found another passage into a different part of the jungle over here. Uh, which means there's probably some things over here that we have not discovered yet. Um, we completed the mission through the passage got the last piece of the scourge stone put it together brought it back to the temple and now have the heart of the sand scourge stone which I have no clue at this point what we're supposed to do with it but I'm sure that will be revealed to us as the game progresses um, I attuned my bracelet to the upper staging area there in the jungle uh, I've never done this, but I, I've heard from people that that's what you have to do in order to use the map room and be able to teleport to the different locations. Uh, but from what I understand in the, the manual, that's a one-way trip. You can go from the map room to that spot, but then you still have to make it back on foot to your base. All right. And with that being said, I bid farewell to the sand-blown ruins. <clears throat> so, if you like what you see, guys, hit the like button. You want to see more, hit the subscribe. Catch you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.